You have just seen one of the most basic activity to describe motion. Throwing an object upward, such as this stone, may suggest development of concepts and ideas about the universe and the earth. But sadly, this has led to one's imprisonment in the 1500s. If how, listen attentively to this video lesson. During the medieval times, the followers of Aristotle may have described a rock or any object which is thrown upward will eventually fall downward because it seeks its natural place in the universe. All objects that are heavy will always seek the earth, believing it is their natural place in the universe, while light objects like flame and smoke will move up. This concept lived for 2,000 years until Galileo came and presented new ideas about vertical motion. According to him, in the absence of friction, all objects can move freely in space. This idea, along with the heliocentric concept of the Earth and the universe, brought controversy during the medieval times, and this led to the trial and imprisonment of Galileo. Another controversy for Galileo is the idea of falling objects with different masses. During the time of Aristotle, one may easily conclude that heavier objects like this book will fall faster than a sheet of paper because this is what everyone see all the time and we can say that Aristotle in this situation believed that acceleration is dependent on mass but as for Galileo objects speed is not dependent on mass according to him acceleration is dependent on the time of fall this was conceptualized by Galileo by performing several experiments of falling bodies including rolled steel balls of different weights on an inclined plane and two spheres of different masses from the Leaning Tower of Pisa. This was proven correct through an experiment then on the surface of the moon. In 1971, an astronaut named David Scott performed similar experiment using a feather and a hammer. He dropped these objects at the same height simultaneously. Both objects reached the surface of the moon at the same time. Breakthroughs in physics was brought by Galileo. Newton expanded the words of Galileo to better define the relationship between energy and motion. Thus, we have a richer understanding now of velocity, acceleration, force, inertia, and momentum. He paved the way for succeeding scientists like Isaac Newton to conceptualize the idea of inertia and gravity.